Hey, what's up? I need an upgrade. Yeah, you, you can say that again. Excuse me? Uh, I said you can say that, Aaron. Uh, your name's Aaron, right? Close. It's actually Eric. Anyways, I need an upgrade. Well, you've come to the right place. It's like we always say, get an upgrade and you've got it made. Since when do we say that? Since like forever. No, it hasn't. Yes, it has. I thought it was just do it. That's Nike. What's Nike? Hey! I need an upgrade. Okay. Just because you're stronger than us doesn't give you the right to shout at us. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Yeah, why do you need an upgrade anyway? I just feel like my life is sort of messed up. I just keep believing all these lies. I need some truth in my life so I know how to live my life. Well, we've got just a thing for you. Yeah, what's that? Upgrade! 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 You guys are creepy. Do you do anything other than sit in the store all day and night? Wow! Let's insult the upgrade geniuses. <laughs> Listen, Eric, it's obvious you're jealous of our job. <laughs> and for your information, we do stay here all day and night. Well, except except Jared goes home once a week to take a shower. <laughs> yeah, and, and David goes home. Oh, I guess I guess he's he never leaves. Shut up. I'm sorry. I just wanna stop believing all the lies. Don't you just love it when they serve it up on a plate for us? <laughs> sure do. Okay. How do I stop the lies? I don't think you realize. Instead of drinking Gatorade. Wash away all the pain. You don't have to be afraid. Get yourself an upgrade. 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 Can I just buy an upgrade so I can get out of here as soon as possible so I don't turn into a loser like you guys? Sure can, buddy. Jared, tell him what he's won. Okay. Um, for $599.98, you can get this Teddyosaurus. Hi. Um, he, he can help you understand when you are hearing or speaking lies. Yep. And um, so you don't need friends or your mind to tell you when you're speaking lies. Um, here's the Teddyosaurus. What? That doesn't even work. Liar! Whoa! It works! See? What? That was your voice. Wow. We have a genius in the room. Not only can he see, but he can hear. Doesn't even have batteries yet. Fine, just give me that so I can get out of here. Thanks for visiting the Upgrade the Store! Production. The U to the P to the yeah. G to the R uh, to the A D E. If you know what I mean, that spells Upgrade. Yeah, oh, upgrade. upgrade. Oh. From the U Is to the P to the G to the R to the A D E. to the Upgrade Store! Upgrade. Unfortunately, the Teddyosaurus doesn't really exist. But the point is this. We need to figure out what truth is. We have to know what truth is in our life because truth does exist. And the problem is a lot of people in this world are living their lives. They're literally basing their lives on things that aren't true. For example, a lot of people live their lives for worldly success. I mean, that's really common. I mean, even a lot of high school students are thinking about, when they think about their life and they think about future, they think about success. They think, I'm going to work really, really hard and I'm going to be a doctor. I'm going to be a lawyer. I'm going to be a successful businessman, a successful businesswoman. What, whatever the case is, we think of our lives often, and a lot of people do, in success. Or sometimes people think about riches. They think, well, I'm going to be rich. You know, I, my life, my goal in my life is to make six figures. My goal is to become a millionaire. Or some people live their life based on just constantly thinking about the opposite sex. You know, I want to be with this many people. I want to have this many, just what, whatever. We live our lives sort of based on these lies. And I think life, if you're thinking about your life, which I think you should be, life has to be lived with this sort of end of life perspective. What do I mean? I mean, when you, when you die, think about this, because you're going to die someday, and you meet God, what do you want to say to him? What do you want to tell him that you did with your life? That's how you need to think about your life. Because, uh, th this maybe sounds really too negative, but uh, sorry, sometimes I'm negative. I, I think that too often, God's not going to be that impressed with a lot of how we live our lives. Oh God, I was really successful, and I made tons of money. 
I think he's gonna go, so? What'd you do for me? I put you here. I sent you on a mission to change this world for me. What'd you do for me? But too often we don't even think about that because we're so focused on these lies that life is about being successful and all these other things. It's not that those things are bad, but that's not why you're here. And so many people, speaking of lies, are just trapped in lies in this life. There are a lot of people out there that feel like, you know, honestly, if you were to ask me, I feel worthless. That's a lie. Because you're of incredible worth. God sent his own son to die for you. That's how worthy you are. A lot of people feel like, yeah, no one really cares about me anyway. Well, did you know that God hasn't stopped thinking about you since the day you were born? Some people think, yeah, I'm the, sp I'm the best thing since sliced bread, which I don't even think is that good, by the way. Uh, I'm, especially wheat bread, that's kind of gross. Um, but people think, like, oh, I'm the greatest thing on earth, not knowing that it is because of your immense sinfulness that God had to die for you. See, we get so caught up, and I, we could, I could go on for six hours naming lies that we get caught up in, and we just believe all these wrong things about our lives that aren't even true. We need a compass of truth, if you will. Because here's how a lot of us live our lives. Because we don't really have a lot of truth, we, live, we, we start thinking lies about ourselves, we start thinking lies about our life, and we, we just wander around like this. It's like you have a compass. You know, you've never seen like a compass, so you go like orienteering. I can't believe I know that word. That's really embarrassing. Um, where you go out in the woods and you follow the compass, you know, north, you know, east, southwest, never eat soggy Wheaties. Uh, and you're just, but a lot of us live our lives like this. It's kind of, almost as if the compass is just spinning around. Because we don't really have direction in what we're supposed to do and who we are and how we're supposed to live. Because we don't even know the truth. But the truth of how to live your life, what to live for, and who you really are, is in the Bible. And let me, let me just be really challenging tonight. If you're not taking the Bible seriously in your life, you will live your life wandering off course. If you're not taking the Bible seriously in your life, I guarantee you that your life will be lived spinning around on lies. Because the truth for this wor world is in the Bible. We need to know it. We need to know it in our hearts and our minds if we're going to walk the right direction. So just ask yourself tonight, start asking this question, how can I get in the Word more? How can I start reading God's Bible more? And how can I let that direct my life? And, and I think you'll have some time to do that tonight in small groups. Amen.